Alrighty, we're on now systems of equations still, and we're going to do complex, uh, one with complex eigenvalues. So uh, let's take a look at this example, then a is equal to 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. And uh, I actually made these videos out of order. I was going to do complex second and then defective third, but I actually made defective second, and it'll be listed correctly on the YouTube playlist. Um, but yeah, I, I, I might be a little disoriented right now, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get through it. So, all right, determinant then of a minus lambda i, right? The, for, uh, we always want to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Uh, so, you know, eigen, right? That's always the first step. Um, and so well, that, that's really the only step to these guys because, all right, so what's that determinant? Then it's the determinant of negative lambda 1, 0, negative 1, negative lambda 0, 0, 0, 5 minus lambda. Okay, and then this is equal to, well, if you expand along this bottom one, uh, this becomes 5 minus lambda times lambda squared plus 1 plus 0. Okay, and now uh, what do I have? Now I get lambda is equal to 5 and lambda is equal to plus or minus i, right? Okay, and so now you want to find your eigenvector. So let's do lambda equals 5 first because this will be easier. Uh, five, negative 5, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, cool. And it looks like then V1, I can just pick 0, 0, 1. And that will give me um, an eigenvector, right? And so then the solution corresponding to this is simply e to the 5t times 0, 0, 1. Okay. Now, I need to look at lambda equals i um, or negative i, right? So remember with the whole... Uh, uh, complex eigenvalue thing is that you only need to look at one of them because the other one comes for free and this is the same idea you only need to look at one uh, eigenvalue and you only need to find one complex eigenvector which is not which, which is which is kind of nice you know you only need to find one um, so we get i one zero negative one negative i uh, zero 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 five minus i okay and then so now we have x y z Right, is equal to zero zero zero. So all right, so every row actually has a zero in here. So this is actually nice. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to look at the first row. I'm going to take this first row and I'm going to multiply it. So I get negative i x plus y is equal to zero. Right. So I took this first row and multiplied it by that matrix um, by the column vector. And so uh, let's say x is equal to positive i, which is the complex conjugate of negative i. Right. And then that means uh, I would get 1 plus y is equal to 0, so then that forces y to equal negative 1. Okay, and now let's take, I guess, well, this last row. Yeah, we can take this last row. This actually works very well, because now if I take this last row, let's use a different color, right? I get 0, uh, 0, 5 minus i, right? And now, remember, x equals i and y equals negative 1, so this is i negative 1, z, and this has to equal 0, right? So I get 0 plus 0 plus 5 minus i times z is equal to 0. But what does that make z? Well, that just I can just let z be 0, right? So uh, from these calculations here, we see that my eigenvector v2 can just be i negative 1, 0. And that, that works very well. And so then v3 comes for free, right? Remember that uh, I just take then the complex conjugate of everything. And so this becomes negative i. The complex conjugate of a real number is a real number. It's itself. And then that's going to be my v3, right? So my v3 is negative i, one, negative 1, 0. And my v2 is i, negative 1, 0. OK, cool. So now I just only need to pick one of them. Right? I only need to deal. OK, this next step is new. Um, but I only need to pick one of these guys. So, uh, so step two, then, is to deal with this complex eigenvector. All right, and so you guys, uh, it's tempting, right? It's tempting, and it's correct to write then this as e to the i t times i negative one zero, right? Which is exactly what you got. Which is exactly oh, my handwriting super bad. Um, which is exactly what we did here, right? We just plug in the eigenvector value and then we slap the eigenvector right next to it. Um, which is, yeah, we'll, we'll do that here, except the problem is look at our original matrix, right? It's a real valued matrix. It's negative 1, um, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, right? It's a real valued matrix, so it makes no sense that our solution would have 
i's in it. So what do we have to do? Well, remember what e to the i t was? Yeah, so we actually want to like we actually want to factor both these guys. Um, and what do I mean by factor both? I mean that I want to split it up into real parts and imaginary parts. So e to the i t right is equal to uh, sine uh, or cosine x plus i sine x. Right. This is what e to the i t is equal to. So this is e to the i t. And remember, if I had e to the a plus b i x. In general, that's equal to e to the ax times, uh, or let's say t, a plus b i t. Let's keep it consistent with um, that, right? So these guys should be t's since it's e to the i t. Okay, um, so e to the a plus b i t is equal to e to the a t times uh, cosine b x plus i sine b x. I keep on saying bx, it's bt, because we're dealing with t's. Okay, so that's this part, and now I want to multiply it by uh, essentially uh, 0, negative 1, 0, plus i times 1, 0, 0, right? So that's the second vector, um, but I'm, I split it up into real and imaginary part. So this is really i negative one zero. Okay, so that's you, we factor both into a real and imaginary part, and now you got to foil that. So that's equal to so first is cosine t zero negative one zero, all right, and then plus um, outer. So this now becomes i cosine t one zero zero. Um, inner becomes plus i sine t zero negative one zero. And then last becomes minus uh, sine t one zero zero. Okay, and we want to group the real and imaginary parts. So this becomes cosine t zero negative one zero. And now I want to group it with the the sine term because there's no i in front of it. Minus sine t one zero zero. Okay, and then uh, now have plus i times cosine t plus sine t. Right. So uh, not quite, but cosine t one zero zero plus sine t, 0, negative 1, 0, right? So now I took the terms with the i's in front of them, and I grouped them together, OK? And once we're here, we are more or less done. Because what happens? Um, the, the following happens. Uh, this is a solution right here. This is a solution. And then this part, inside the parentheses, without the i, um, a solution, and you want to drop the i. Okay, and that's because again, it makes no sense to have an i in our solution when our original matrix up here, this thing has no i's in it, right? So, uh, so we just take then the part in the brackets, which is real. So, now what, right? And then now, um, when you write together, um, you have. So where's the first solution? Yeah, so you have e to the 5, right? So you get like c1 e to the 5 t 0, 0, 1 plus c2 um, times all of this, okay? And then plus c3 times all of this. And that's your solution to um, a complex valued uh, system of differential equations. And again, the next video in the series will be the one with uh, the defective matrices and where it's, it's it, the end of 240 is approaching. It's coming really fast. Yeah.